Greetings and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. I am so grateful that you're here today. Thank you for joining me today. I, my name is Darina Shine and today is May the 16th, 2021. And I'm going to be talking about leading through change and uncertain times. This is uncertain times. People are coming back to a new way of looking at business development, organizational structures, and business in general. So um, I did some research and I found that these three things are very vital to business in 2021. And that is listening, embracing, and focusing in on our business organizational structure, development, proposal writing, uh, grants, submissions, searches, and all that. And it takes a strong leader to build a strong team. And sometimes that team has to create its own energy in order to vibe with the path that the leader is moving forward in their mission and in their goal and in their, their heart and their passion. So let's get right into the three areas. Number one, listening is a great way to find another person's strength or weaknesses. Now you can take this two ways. You can say, I'm going to look to find another person's strength or weakness by manipulating, faking it to make it, um, getting in where I fit in. And, and, and it's not, it's going to distract the whole team. If, if it is something, if listening is not being, um, positively effective, then it's going to try to distract and bring chaos. So what we need to do is realize that listening is a great way to find another person's strength or weaknesses. And what they talk about the most is the area of strength. You as a leader then must promote another to be aware as a staff member, volunteer, leader, that this is imperative to be heard and to be understood. And most time in business, listening is respectful when given specific directions of employment, training, uh, leadership styles, you know, going back to college, upgrading yourselves. The door of communication must swing both ways. And it is a great empowering feeling when we can say that we have successfully listened and we have successfully put ourselves in a leadership position to move us into area number two, which is leading, um, through change and uncertainty, by embracing and empowering others to come along with us, to work with us, to build a relationship with us so that we as leaders can create a great empowering uh, passion for our organization to stay strong. And as a leader, it's great to feel where our staff members and our partners and definitely our clients are coming from. And being emotionally understanding in this time is good, but making sure that manipulation is not pushing that emotion because we have to hold people accountable or they're going to emotionally outgrow our business or distract us to where we forgot what it was we were actually even coming in to do. So if the idea of the business is great, then go for it, do what you need to do, and always stay in the leadership position. And handling situations independently as they come and dealing with them immediately is according to the structure that a positive organ is going to flow successfully through. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to be, here's what you do, A, B, C. And then that person takes that idea and they run with it and they put their own spin of passion on it, making it a win for the team. And now leads me to the final point of leading through change and uncertainty. And this is focusing on the overall goal as the leader, as the organizational leader, Yes, change is good. Life is full of wonderful surprises. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Empower yourselves through it. And it is your focus that will allow you as a true leader to see how you are gaining momentum through your own leadership journey style to become that ultimate 
organization and that ultimate business that is going to be here 20, 30, 40 years. And always remember, try not telling people when you first start on an idea that's fresh and, 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 and new and because they may distract you. They may bring chaos just, you know, just because that's all they know. So don't fight the energetic feeling of positive energy flow when it comes to business development after this pandemic. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. And if you like this video, please share and give it a thumbs up. And if you're also interested in business coaching, I am here. You can contact me in the description box below is a link to an email, scales to success, LLC at gmail.com. I'm going to give you a free 15 minute consultation. And again, my name is Darina Shine. I'm business developer for the Youngstown Community Center, as well as the scales to success LLC company and also business solutions after 2020 pandemic here on YouTube. Please join me every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our business premiere right here on this channel. We'll see you next Sunday.